Our special CSR award this year goes to Dunia Finance, and I'm here with Rajiv Kakar from the company to explain to us a little about the uh, Dunia Cares initiative. First of all, Rajiv, congratulations on the award. What does it mean to a company such as yourself, and what does CSR mean to a company such as yourself? Well, um, Andrew, at the very outset, I guess this is a very exciting award to win for several reasons. Partly because Dunia Finance is really in its maiden year. We just launched about a year and a quarter ago. So it's always very nice to be recognized for anything that you do. But this, this award becomes especially uh, important for us for, for different reasons. Dunia, which means the world in, in Arabic, actually means the world in about 14 languages. So when we created this brand, we, we created it, of course, for commercial reasons. But we did want to have a, a certain objective to make a difference to the world and uh, solving or at least helping and solve the world's most and society's most pressing problems was something that we identified as one of our three priorities. While we are in financial services, I guess the difference really comes in, in terms of what you contribute, how you give back to society. But the tagline that we often use for our company is all about empowering people, enabling success and enriching lives. And Dunia Cares, which is our um, corporate social responsibility program, really dovetails into it. But what it really means is um, it's really, it really entails a lot of volunteerism on the part of our employees, our customers. Um, and um, the intent is to use our resources, to be able to use our, um, our capabilities, to be able to channelize, catalyze, make a difference in society by getting everyone to give back in a little way and to make a difference. And, and tell us about a couple of the specific projects, the Shoebox Project, for example. Well, the shoebox project was something that was very, uh, very interesting. Um, it's something we've done a couple of times, so it's not something that we've just done one-off, but we do this on a regular basis. Uh, we realized that there were several people, mainly construction workers or people in the lower end of society, financially, who were often deprived of some very basic necessities in life. And uh, we realized that there was our, our staff, our customers, were out there willing to help, and many of them didn't know what to do or how to do it. So the shoebox appeal was really an interesting creative way by which uh, we asked uh, people, customers and staff and other people who were stakeholders with us to look at ways by which they could put about 14 or 15 critical items that they felt they could either do away with or they could go out and invest in if they wanted, but they didn't have to invest. They could just pick up things that they were perhaps not using, but which could be of great importance or great use to someone in their daily lives. And uh, what started off... Um, as a fun appeal program, as something that would make a tangible difference and help people who were not as privileged to be able to get access to such benefits turn out to be extremely successful. And, and what was particularly heartening was that many people went out and got things that were really usable. It wasn't a question of throwing away and passing down hand-me-downs, but it was really about uh, helping people for a cause. Well, it sounds like a great initiative, and congratulations again. Thank, Thank you. you very much, Andrew. Thank you.